Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm going to be talking to you about a free new Universal Minecraft NBT editor made by Oprize. His link to this awesome amazing tool and his YouTube channel will be in the description below. Make sure you guys go check him out and sub to his YouTube channel as well as check out this amazing mod tool. So let's get into talking about it a little bit. We have all versions of Minecraft that we can NBT edit. So let's go ahead and check out a PC world. Let's just click on one and it will load up. But say we wanted to do something in our Xbox world. So let's go ahead and load up our Xbox world at the same time as our PC world. But that's not enough. Let's go ahead and open up a Windows 10 as well. Now you can see that we have three different versions all within the same tool loaded up to NBT Edit. So let's go back to players on PC. Now you can see there's nothing in the inventory. Let's what about the players on Xbox? We actually have one inventory and it's an anvil. So let's copy that. I want to show you guys something really awesome. Go back to our inventory and just click paste. Now you can see we have an anvil here. So let's change it. If you right click, you can actually enchant it by hitting max or clicking the green arrow to do something different. Click OK. Now if you go back and right click again, you can actually display the name or you could change the item. Let's go ahead and change the item to a sword. How about a diamond sword? Click yes. Now let's change the name. Click name. And let's type cool. So that's pretty awesome. Now we have a diamond sword called cool with the enchantments. So let's copy that one and paste it into our Jurassic World. Players on Windows 10. Go to our inventory and just click paste. Now you can see here that we have a tagged diamond sword with the enchantment and display name of cool all within copy and pasting between three different worlds. Now I want to show you guys something a little bit different. Let's copy this one again. Go back to our 360 world as you can see inventory and click paste. Now they're red because of something very similar. You can see that this is slot 28 and slot 28. Just change one of them to something else and click enter. Now that everything's good so it won't corrupt your world. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of this stuff. Now the regular NBT worlds you guys are familiar with are all still within the game, but there's gonna be a little bit different between the PC, NBT Worlds, Xbox, and Pocket Edition type of Windows 10, because each of them have a little bit different. As you can see, this Windows 10 actually has a lot more than PC or uh, Xbox, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and check out something super easy. How about Chunk Locator? Let's go to Xbox 360 and go to Chunk Locator. Now that you guys can see, they're small, medium, and large depending on the colors. Let's go ahead and check out map overlay. I actually have no map on this world, so let me go ahead and load up another Xbox 360 world. And let's check out, say, Dungeon Craft Mod Pack. Press open. Now it's going to take a minute to actually load up a very hardcore modded world as, say, my mod pack. It's going to take a minute, so just be patient. There's actually not a loading screen just yet. But whenever it loads up, just go ahead and click on maps. I actually have no maps in that one as well. So let's go ahead and open up another 360 world. Let's open up. I know I have a map in my modded server. So let's go ahead and go to modded world. If you can't really find it or you have too many, you can also just type in the world and click open. So now we have that one. I do have maps here. So now let's go back to chunk locator. As you can see that, let's go to map overlay and click on map one. You can see that this one actually has an awesome map and it's custom. So let's open it up and check out some stuff. Now we have entities and other different stuff. So let's go ahead and check out this actual sheep. Uh, and it's just a regular sheep, but let's do this. Let's copy it and let's paste it into, from this Xbox 360 world into this one. So what this is, it's actually in a chunked entities tag over on a different type of version of the world. So let's go ahead and open up this one. View files, world setting, let's go to level.dat. Actually, let's go to uh, chunk locator and let's just chunk locate on a PC. Let's do that. Now it's a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So we'll go to region, we'll click here, and we'll just click this one. Click open, as you can see there. Click entities, paste. Now that we have a sheep in our PC world from Xbox world. So if you have some stuff like a, you know, type of entity or a custom mob that you want to do copy and paste between your worlds, you actually can. It's very simple using that. So let's go back over here real quick. I want to show you guys something else. Let's go to chunk locator and click back on block view of the world. Yes. 
It's going to scan your world and actually show you what the map looks like. So here's my modded server lobby. Here is the deals over here for the creative version. Here's Sky Wars and here's a PvP arena along with a Bed Wars. Pretty awesome, right? So let's go ahead and check out the height map. Whatever's whiter is going to be higher and whatever's darker is going to be lower. Let's go to biome view. So now you can see all the different biomes throughout the world itself. This is flat land, apparently. So let's go ahead and check out something awesome, really cool too as well. Let's go ahead and check out my modded server. Let's actually go to here. We'll go to this one and select potions. So we have a medx potion. Tags, entities, custom potions, everything like so. Health boost and display lore. Let's go ahead and check out temporary health boost. So I want to copy this potion, right? Or actually I want to change anything in it. Let's go ahead and copy it real quick and paste it in here. So this was over in my selected items in the entries tab. So we're just going to go over here, go to entries, and click paste. There it is. Now I actually have the potion from my mod pack into my other dungeons pack. So let's go ahead and I want to show you guys something else real quick. Let's go to inventory. Let's go to mob spawner. Click on mob spawner and let's go to copy. Well, actually let's not paste that. Delete that. Let's go to copy and we'll go to PC world. Let's go to player, go back to player, go to inventory and click paste. Now we have a mob spawner here. So we want to change the mob spawner or anything like so you can do that as well. It's pretty easy. I'll go into a more detail later on. I'm just kind of showing you what you could do with this free mod tool because it's completely awesome. You can open up multiple Xbox 360 worlds like here. If I wanted to actually copy and paste a whole bunch of modded items in my inventory on one world and put it into another world on there so I could start using those mods. It's actually so easy and it's amazing. But that's pretty much it guys. If you want to see any more videos, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome stuff. Also, make sure you guys go check out O-Prize. His YouTube, like I said, will be in the description of this video. You guys can check it out and uh, download this free amazing tool. I'm actually going to be making more tutorials in depth on everything as you just saw here. It was just a quick, brief little tutorial. But that's pretty much it. If you guys want to see some more, remember to come back and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Jacob Black Rose, and I'm out. My father told me when I was young Don't play with fire, be careful, son But we were flames and fell in love